The idea for the Turing Fellowships really came from the uh, AI review that I wrote for the UK government with Jerome Pacenti in 2017 and we recognised in that that we needed to uh, recruit and retain the best in the field of AI uh, to help grow uh, the AI community in the UK, keep our best people here. So it's fantastic that we've got that four to six million pound investment and it's wonderful to actually see the fellows appointed and that money being applied to grow the economy around AI. I'm Professor Neil Lawrence. Um, I'm the DeepMind Professor of Machine Learning at the University of Cambridge. So the focus of the fellowship is how we build large scale machine learning systems, which is often being called AI, in an explainable and a maintainable way. So trying to understand how these systems will behave and prevent them from doing the sort of things that are detrimental to society, like propagating fake news uh, or filter bubbles. Um, these are all consequences of not understanding the intricacies of the systems we're building. So why that happens is an interesting phenomenon that crosses the technology, the software engineering, the sociological side. So the main idea of the fellowship is to try and address those challenges. So what I'm trying to do is convene other researchers and industry players around the problems we're facing. A collaboration which goes across industries, third sector, government and academia to try and think about how we can address these challenges, not just with technical solutions, but with changes in the way we do regulation, uh, with changes in the way we think about software engineering and even changes in the way that we organise the teams that are building these solutions. My name is Sebastian Stein and I'm an Associate Professor at the University of Southampton. I work in multi-agent systems which is a subfield of artificial intelligence and the project I'm working on now is on citizen-centric AI systems. My type of Turing AI Fellowship is a Turing AI Acceleration Fellowship and that is meant for researchers who have the potential to become world leaders. So we all know that electric vehicles are becoming more and more popular, um, but the problem is that our electricity grid isn't really designed to handle lots of electric vehicles charging at the same time. So here we can use AI to be a bit smarter about how we schedule the charging of cars. But of course here a key concern is privacy as well. We don't want to share all of our traveling habits with the electricity companies. And that's why I envisage that in future AI systems, all this data will be held locally, say on, on your smart device, and an intelligent software agent is going to manage that for you and manage the charging on your behalf. The fellowship is giving me lots of time to dedicate to this research project. I can liaise with stakeholders, with the companies that are supporting this project and really dedicate most of my time to it. I'm Mirella Lapata. I am a Turing AI World Leading Research Fellow at the University of Edinburgh. So my particular fellowship is on reasoning. Reasoning is something that we all do all the time. If I tell you all animals drink water, uh, a cat is an animal, you can infer that a cat will drink water. Now, I haven't told you that a cat can drink water, but you've inferred this because of the correlations with the environment and knowledge about things in the world. A machine learning system or an AI system cannot do that very easily. So part of the fellowship is to come up with new approaches to artificial intelligence and new models that will actually learn these underlying correlations without being explicitly told what to do, where and when, and which is the core of you know, reasoning. Once we have these core components and we have systems that can reason, then we can use them in lots sorts of applications. It is great to be doing this kind of research here in the UK. Um, this kind of funding that UKRI provides is unique in its scope. Um, and the investment, and I don't think I would be able to do this uh, anywhere else. Also, the AI ecosystem in the UK is very interesting because you get uh, this investment that comes from government, but also there is um, an ecosystem of startups and spin-offs that are very interested in AI. And through this fellowship, I will uh, hopefully be able to tap onto this, these opportunities and this ecosystem to do great research. So it's very keen that we build a network of these people 
We support them to support each other, growing the economy using AI, and it will secure our position as a global leader in AI now and in the future.